Welcome to the fourth part of our big tutorial series, facial expressions with test-driven development. Before we are able to develop facial expressions with TDD, we need to do some preparation. We already learned how to wrap simple methods like the setActive method of Unity's game object. In this video, we'll wrap static and generic methods like destroy and instantiate. Before we start the tutorial, I want to say thanks to our patrons who help us to make these tutorials and our game codex possible. A special thanks goes to Simon Zineder, David Heinzel, Erich Gangel, Melina Brunner, Robert Hartl, Reinhard Bauer and Maximilian Heinle. If you like our tutorials as well, then please support us on Patreon. Now let's jump into the video. Wrapping Static Methods I always had the problem that I didn't know how to test if a game object is destroyed or instantiated. Since those methods are static, they can't be mocked in any way. At least not with the free mocking tools out there. But it's actually pretty easy to wrap static methods and make them testable. Simply grab the problematic method and put it in your wrapper class as an instance method. Here's an example. Look at the structure of the static destroy method of Unity's object class. In iObject, try to recreate the structure as precisely as possible. Now in uObject, implement the method and call its static brother and pass. Hmm. iObject doesn't have a property which is in any way compatible with Unity Object. And for me, that's really the only annoying thing about my wrapper infrastructure because this situation forces us to introduce an object property to iObject. The problem is that this implicates that iObject is always a class about another object. In the case of our Unity object wrappers, it's true, since uObject is about Unity object. But until you implement your own object class realizing iObject, the assumption that your object is about another object doesn't hold anymore since your object is the aforementioned object. Maybe you can shift the object property from iObject into uObject and achieve the same with some tricky casts, but I decided to go with the object property defined in iObject. Whatever, that's too complicated. Those are tiny details. In destroy of uObject, you can pass the raw object after converting it into an unity object. In your test method, you can use the mock framework to verify if your bullet really destroys the player when its energy gets zero. Don't question if the implementation makes sense in a software architectural point of view. Wrapping static generic methods. Things get a little bit more complicated when the static method you want to wrap makes use of generics like the static instantiate method of Unity's object class. But again, simply examine the structure of the method and recreate it as precisely as possible in iObject. Compared to instantiate of Unity's object class, our method not only has to create a copy of a Unity object, but since the Unity object is encapsulated within a wrapper class, a copy of the wrapper itself must be created as well. There are several ways to achieve that. Here I'm using reflections and create another wrapper instance with the activator. Then we copy the actual Unity object, pass it to the wrapper and finally return the wrapper together with the Unity object.
In a test, we can now check if the bullet actually creates particles when it hits another object using our mock framework. In my opinion, carefully wrapping third-party code is a great benefit since it makes hard-to-test code testable. I can't mention it often enough. Wrapping comes with a cost that we've discussed in a previous video. So decide on your own if it makes sense or not in your specific situation. That's it for wrappers now. I'm still experimenting and gaining more and more knowledge and experience. So don't wonder if I'm adding more parts to the series someday or delete the whole series because I realized that it's complete crap what I've done. Anyway, in the next video we can actually start with the implementation of sprite-based facial expressions. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to our newsletter, support us on Patreon and subscribe to our channel. Have a nice day, it's your sensei.